Joyce Judy, thank you for joining us on this program. You're running against Peter Courtney. You. That's correct. Yeah. So tell us why. Why did you decide to run against somebody that apparently, from what Larry has told me in Oregon, nobody wants to go against Peter Courtney? Why you? Well, I have nothing to lose, for one, and some other people do. Um, but the reason I'm running is because I want to see a change in the voting culture in the Senate. Um, Peter Courtney is the president of the Senate, and he's the one who decides what bills are going to go through. Uh, in the la House, you'll have bills that are passed, and they come over to the Senate, and they die. So it's like we, we always say uh, the Senate is where good bills go to die. <laughs> and they're mostly good progressive bills. Um, uh. Peter Courtney seems to only want to put through bills that have Republican support. And uh, there are some bills that probably need that, but, you know, there are many bills that don't need Republican support. And what's the point of having a trifecta of Democrats in the state if we aren't going to put through progressive bills? And thank you for saying that, because I want to clarify, um, I mistakenly called him a Republican on another show just because he didn't <laughs> seem to do anything. He's not. Everybody, he's an actual Democrat. He just doesn't want to move any Democratic stuff forward. It's just weird. Right. Yeah. So you're, th this is a Senate district, which is unique. Is it gerrymandered right. a bit? It looks like you're basically the district well, it, of the I-5 corridor. Look like a, it's a bit gerrymandered, yes. <laughs> I mean, all the way up in uh, Woodburn, uh, they have 52% uh, Hispanic in Woodburn. Uh, in the district as a whole, it's like 42% Hispanic. And, uh, you know, like so many of your previous uh, speakers and previous candidates here, I I have the same issues, housing and homelessness, and I'd also like to see health care for all passed. Um, we have a crisis in this state with housing and homelessness, and we really need to make it an emergency and get the legislature to move on it. Uh, Peter Courtney's done a couple of things, but, you know, a million dollars here and a million dollars there isn't going to solve uh, the problems of housing or homelessness in our district. So, so it sounds like you're talking about doing bolder legislation, something that's not so incremental. Am I right? Correct. Um, you know, I, yeah, absolutely. We just, it, it's so huge. I, I don't think that they grasp it. You've got in our city alone, in Salem, we have you know, multiple agencies that are working on homelessness. Right. And uh, all of them are kind of overlapping and duplicating so much so that they ended up having to hire a coordinator to coordinate all the different agencies. And that's true across the state. I think they all need to come together and work together uh, to find solutions to the housing and homelessness problems. And, uh, you know, Klamath Falls has a wonderful program that they're doing, but not everybody is. Salem is doing housing first, but not everybody is. Right. So what are all of the solutions? Put together a group and have everybody work together. Yeah, and, and it's, as we've also heard from so many of our candidates, everything intersects here, right? The, the, the lack of education, the lack of funding, the lack of jobs, the, mm -hmm. the lack of homes. It's all just the, right. the money in, in is, needs, seems to not be getting to where it needs to go to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. Right, right. And you exactly. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. No, uh, I was but gonna, yeah, you're absolutely right. And in in the 2017 le legislative session, there was a bill put forward on ending the no cause evictions and giving the right to cities to make their own legislative uh, decisions. Uh, the bill passed out of the House right. and once it failed in the Senate. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, why did it fail? Now, nothing goes through the Senate that Courtney doesn't approve. Um, and no cause evictions is, is the beginning of a problem of homelessness for people because they can't find comparable housing right. as far as the, the, the rental levels. Uh, and so they get evicted and many of them go into their cars or onto people's couches, which is what's called, um, uh, how is it put? I forget. But, you know, they are sort of housed. But they're not really. Right. They aren't in permanent housing. So that's the issue. And another part of that is that they're counted as being, they're, they're not counted as homeless or houseless uh, by tolls. Well, 
They, they technically are. They're called sheltered homeless. Ah, okay. You know, there's unsheltered homeless, which are on the street, and unsheltered homeless, which are in their cars or living in somebody else's house or on the couch or something like that. But they but are it, still can Right. They are, it, I mean, but you and I both know that if we were doing actual progressive stuff in this government, if Peter Courtney was really interested in helping his constituents, we wouldn't have these terms at all. There wouldn't be anybody who needed a home or a shelter. They just... Right? right. I mean, that's your goal as a progressive. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, I, I'm excited that you're taking him on because, I mean, honestly, everybody out there, you don't know. I'm learning this about Oregon politics. Oregon is so not as progressive as it seems. And it's people like Peter Courtney that pretend to be Democrats that are holding up mm -hmm. big progress. And Joyce Judy right. is the only person so far in, in history that I know of. Has, Since who is, 1989. Since 1999. He has not had a Democrat run against him. <laughs> that's that's insane and, and i know <laughs> how's the party has the party opened their arms to you running against peter courtney oh no <laughs> oh so they're not about um, being fair and transparent Interesting. no they're not uh being fair and transparent um we were not able to get access to van oh. because they only support incumbents uh, they don't support a, a level playing field so they only support incumbents. And they said, oh, well, you can go to the Secretary of State and get the same information. But it took us quite a while to get up to speed because it isn't quite the same. Uh, whereas Van's very easy to get on, uh, they, they wouldn't give us access. Right, right, right. It's, 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 it's disgusting. And, and, and if I understand correctly, there's, there's a bylaw and then there's their, their, their platform rules and they, one conflicts with the other in the Democratic Party. Right. They, 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 exactly. and, and that's that's just BS. That's something else that you need to take power so that you can change. Right. Right. Absolutely. Where can people go to support you? But first, where will you be next? Because I know you're on the marching road right now. Where are you going to be? <laughs> Campaign? Well, I'm going to be in, I'm, I'm we're going to be canvassing uh, every day of the week, nice. basically. Uh, starting Wednesday for sure, uh, we're going to be out on the road. We've already done some canvassing events, but canvassing is where I will win. Great. I need the people on the streets, in their houses, in the cafeterias, wherever they are. Canvassing is what's going to win for me. Um, you know, money is not. I don't have the big money that Peter Courtney has for right. sure. Uh, and so I just need to meet the people. And I think that they, you know, what we've seen so far is none of them have ever even met Courtney. <laughs> right. He doesn't do town so, halls. And I just want to let everybody know, my understanding is he is taking you seriously because he actually hired a campaign manager, which is the first time he actually yeah, had to do that. I didn't know that he hired a campaign manager, but I know that he has been uh, out on Facebook asking for volunteers to, to campus. So, uh, <laughs> Interesting. So just everybody, right. Joyce Judy needs your help. You can uh, go to her website. What's, what's the website? Which is? Is Joyce Judy and the number four Senate.com. So it's Joyce Judy for Senate.com. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, you go there, volunteer. I mean, you're going to need people to help canvas, door knock, right? Absolutely. We need volunteers. We need, you know, we can always use money. I'm going to ask for money, but mostly I'm going to ask for your vote. Please vote when the ballots come out. I think that's going to be about April 26th. Please vote for me if you're in my district. And and everybody, if you saw the district, it's because listen, if you live anywhere <laughs> kind of along, ever, everywhere. yeah, but if you live anywhere along that corridor between uh, what is it, Woodburn and Salem, basically, you can get on the five yeah. and help. Woodburn, I mean, Jervis, and Salem, uh, Salem all the way down to Fair, Fairfield, Fairview, I think it is something like that. Yeah, so a good port Salem is in the district as well. That's that's huge. Thank you for running against Peter Courtney Joyce. I really appreciate you doing that because I know it's something that no one was willing to do. So thank you for having the courage. And thank you very much for having me today and, and giving up your Sunday to do this for all of us. Hey, I just want a habitable planet like you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Awesome. Joyce Judy, everybody running against Peter Courtney. Who's not